I'm back to terrorize you all further because I've got a problem and I no longer have anybody to give me any form of like constructive like structure in my life so my days off are basically me just doing whatever the fuck I want and that normally just means ha 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 I'm just gonna play video games until my eyes fall out of my head. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. I enjoy it, so... Oh! Now I don't enjoy life over. I obviously have other things in my life. <laughs> but yeah, you know. Does it have to tell me that every time? Okay, um... We have metal head and tree tops and the flight level, which I've already lost the location of. The first time I saw them, like, a uh, chicken running onto that and being killed by it, I was like, whoa, cool. The environment's interacting with itself. Wow. <laughs> I was like, way too into it. So we have treetops, metalhead, and wild flight. Let's see if we can get all these done as fast as possible. Treetops is a fucking massive level, so I highly doubt that. I don't even like treetops, man. This is the level that I was like... I was playing this, and one of my friends said, uh, isn't that a bit... And I was like, what are you on about? And they were like, yeah, isn't that a bit, like, don't they look a bit, like, kind of racist to you? And I was like, this was back in, like, college or uni. And I was like, um, they have been a roommate. They changed, oh, they changed them a lot. They used to look like they were in, they didn't look like monkeys. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right away. They didn't have fur. They looked like blackface. And they had they threw bananas at you, and they had a bone through their nose, and like they had their hair done in a very. Oh, they still throw bananas at you, but now they look more like monkeys, so it's fine. Yeah, you can see where I had a problem with this, and where a lot of people had a problem with. This looks racist as fuck. You can see this guy's waking all of these guys up and they're just living their lives and then I have to massacre them. Because, uh... Oh, chicken. Oh, thank God that they changed it. Shame they didn't change the, uh... But the other one wasn't too offensive, I guess. It's like more like, look, it's a western. They're banditos. They're not necessarily... They're like cowboys, man. Why do some of these dragons have froggy faces? Oh no! I knew that would happen. Why did I do that? I mean, you know, video games have a long history of having really insensitive things in their like. Oh, I was supposed to, okay. It's fine. Oh, fuck you, Sonny Jim. Throwing banana abs at me. I do need to buy some bananas, though, so he was actually very helpful. You see, up there, yeah, that's, that's the no good place. There's stuff up there, lots of stuff, and it's a fucking hellhole getting in. gonna do is try and get the other side. Oh shit. Don't know how that happened. Or how I'm alive. 
there's a lot to this area. We've done hardly any of it. <laughs> this is what I'm on about. I don't like treetops because it's a huge precarious set of ramps. And they're all like, why aren't you supercharged into the void? It's like, I, I don't want to die. Well, fuck you, you're dying. And I'm like, oh, glad I had a choice in this. Thanks, dick. Alright. feel like I'm doing everything wrong here. There's a lot of, like, linking shit to other shit, and it's, like, real problem. Let's just say. It's a lot of, like, you have to jump to this, and then do this, and supercharge down here. Then you have to, oh, look, I think. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. I don't like it, and I don't understand why anyone would like this level other than the aesthetics. Pretty nice, because I like tree houses. The enemies used to be a lot more problematic, too. You can see why. I don't need to tell you why. You already know. But this is the society we live in. Hey, this is kind of insensitive towards certain races of people. Hey, what about this? Isn't this insensitive to other types of races of people? Yeah, but they're not really the ones that matter right now. You just get rid of the one that's insensitive to this group of people, and we'll ignore the fact that these are insensitive to, say, ethnic Asians, or, you know, from an I mean Asian ethnicity, or people who are like Hispanic or Latin, or however they wish to call that, because I don't know, because I'm an idiot, um, and like all of this shit, that doesn't matter, just leave that in, it's fine, and you're like, are you serious, like, hey man, get rid of a poo, he's really fucking offensive to certain cultures. Oh, Luigi, uh, these are men. Something, something, supercharged, something, something, this level's terrible. Yeah. Like, you know, it always, like, stunned me that it was just fine for, like... <laughs> the Crash Bandicoot series, and they never got any problems with Papu Papu or anything like that. And to this day, I'm surprised. And it's like, well, you know what? I don't know enough about those people for me to go, oh, they're probably offended by that. Maybe they don't give a shit. Maybe they do. Maybe if someone's offended, maybe none of them played the game and don't give a fuck. Maybe they're like, nah, it's pretty chill, actually. I like it. I don't know. <laughs> like, but, like, I sit there and go, oh, that feels like a racist character show. But, uh, but, you know, who am I to say? I'm just some dumbass white Brit, so it's like, how the fuck would I know? <laughs> I got the thing I needed to get here, so it's fine. Oh. One. Two. We're getting a lot, but don't expect me to get all. Oh. You didn't even get a lot. Stuff up there. You can't tell me that's like 30% of the level up there. I know there is a dragon up there. I remember that I regularly have to come back to get that dragon. Also the dra the nana and the nana guys up there. I'm not sure if I can do it with just this one. I think, you see that loop up there? I think you got to jump. We're going to try. It's not high enough. There's a, this is where the whole, like, chain, chain, chain thing comes in. I'm just not up for it right now. Oh, well. Oh, I could have at least gone and got the strong box. Oh, well. Oh, well, what we got next? Aurora 
Borealis. Next, it's the Metalhead. Confronting the Metalhead. You'll probably find he's actually a chill and very misunderstood person. Not if you listen to the top 40 listeners. <laughs> All the PMRC. Yeah, let's cover these people in buckets. I forgot they were also here and that upsets me. It's fine, they're monkeys now, they have tails, and they have fur, so it's very clearly a monkey. Uh, swamp. Bridge. Profit. Oh. Bomb. Don't like that they just clip out, it used to be a big explosion and then they disappear in the explosion. Oh good, glad they both got hit in that splash. Who's your favorite Spyro side character? So already said mine is whatever that name. Blows up his own now. Not the best robot. And he did that mostly himself. I forget this boss every time, but I'm always like, this is a nice theming. I like the environment, it's quite nice. I think it's pretty good. And then I'm just like, yeah, okay, you know, that's that. And I forget about it again, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that one existed. It's not exactly a memorable boss. A lot of the bosses in Spyro, I have to admit, suffer from a, uh, I just assume you can't hit them when they're red. But yeah. Well, we found that out the hard way. A lot of the Spyro bosses aren't exactly memorable. Some of them are really memorable, and then some of them are memorable for bad reasons. Not that they're problematic, they're just boring or annoying. Is that it? That was it. Dude, he just, he killed himself there. He blew up his own power stick. Anyone else feel that that was a little anticlimactic? Climactic. I missed some gems. They're probably just right up here. to travel again. I really want to go back to Thailand and see a different part of Thailand because I really had fun in Thailand. A lot of tasty food, a lot of nice temples, pretty chill place. I could go do some Muay Thai but I'd probably get my ass kicked because I'm not very good anymore. Is that all of it? It's not. There's a lot. Okay. Um, Yeah, 
this is a pretty fun place to be. Uh, don't really like going to the bars though, it's kind of awkward. I see a thing, how do I get up there? I'm too low right now. Must be a way up here. Ah, oh, yeah, there's a way up. Oh, no, there's one. Uh, I don't like thinking. I don't like thinking. Something for me. God damn it, no one's thinking for me. Is it up here? It's up here, isn't it? Why didn't anyone tell me? Yeah, it's a pretty nice place. I kind of miss that. I don't like going to the bars there because, you know, I get harassed a lot. And I'm very naive and I don't realize that's what's happening. And then I'm like, oh, you, leave me alone. Where is the key? Oh, look, a shiny thing. I mean, we went up here and there was just nothing, so I feel like there was something I was missing. Or not. Yeah, I can always get a chicken. Oh, there's some in there. Yeah, they start doing this logic puzzle shit on you after a while. Like, look, a high thing. You have to work out how to get up here. And so, I don't want to think. Stop making me think. I hate it. Everywhere, man. How? Stupid. I am, look. Oh. We'll work it out, we'll work it out. I'm sure it's like very obvious and I'm just being stupid. Uh but we'll we'll get there. We'll get at least some of this. I don't think that's high enough. That would be, but I oh. Oh, I want to be up on that wall. Oh, this is way too much thought for me. I'm too lazy today. I'm a bit tired now. Just want it to be easy again. This is not fun. Uh, swamp, yes. Not that way. Go that way. What about this way? No, can't go this way. Just to prove a point. Okay. I'm doing 
this a lot lately. I don't like really care for Beastmakers. Beastmakers is fine, and it's got a nice theme, and it's very jungly and swampy, and it's like a different from like if it went straight from like magic to Dreamweavers, it would be like you start to feel like they're only doing the same thing again and again. So it's good, and it makes the level. It makes the um. What am I trying to say here? It makes the uh definitely makes the game feel like worthwhile, worth your money, because it's like, you know, there's actually quite a lot going on. There's that flight level, which I didn't do probably for the best, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, the Piggins. There's actually quite a lot to this game. There's quite a few worlds. Even after Dreamweavers, there's another world after that. At least one more world. I can't remember if there's actually more than one world. And that's the thing, right? Like I was saying, like the bosses, you got Nasty Nork, who is a pretty good boss. And there's quite a lot. Of, ooh, like clipping. <laughs> I'm going to say it every time. Yeah, let's do everything wrong. Yeah. How is this wild? This is all factory. They lied. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Gimme. Give I'm just killing these things, by the way. They're just flying around. They're not actually doing anything to harm me. Just being a dick. Let's go down here. These guys aren't the best, especially when they've got water slopes. I'm not 100%ing any of these. Oh, well, I'll get this guy anyway. I got one of them. The two of them. Where we go next is uh, anybody's guess. Up here. Down here. Yeah, we're not going to find the other two. <laughs> this is literally around this corner, and this corner is way smaller. Oh. Not bad for a first attempt. We can do the planes and the chests. I'm not doing the all in one, it's just too much work for a lazy man like me. Oh, there's one up there. Two up here. into the waterfall. I got an arch. Yeah. Alright. We got some gems. Uh, shall we go look at Dreamweavers? Am I running through this level, these levels too quickly? I kind of am, aren't I? We've got enough dragons. Ah. It's you. But you were a pig. These guys really slow you down, and that's the 
big annoyance of traversing this area. That and getting lost. Horribly, horribly lost. Awesome, fantastic. Oh, tell me the fucking way to go. Let me go for all this bog again. Hate it. to see Dreamweavers. Cray. Yeah. I'm just gonna steal your balloon again now. Ah, time for Dreamweavers. I liked Dreamweavers. However, it is a very complicated hub world, and it's got a lot of really, really weird levels. So, get ready for that. Oh, wow, I'll show much of it this session, because I think we did like two whole worlds this session, so I think I should calm the fuck down. Because, <laughs> yeah, i got to edit like 16 videos at this rate. You can hit them when they're small. They're a bit weird looking, aren't they? And I don't know why all of them are like ginger clowns. I can hit them when they're big. Because they don't have armor. Park Passage. I don't even remember Park Passage. Oh. Not very attractive, are they? Bit weird. It's a strange world, Dreamweavers. But there's some really cool levels. Latif. I'm starting to notice that all the dragons are boys as well. Oh, the mushrooms are your fodder here. Lofty castle, I remember Lofty castle. Response to being grown big is to go whoa, 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 and flap their arms around, which is like, I mean, whatever floats your boat. Okay. He's the problem. He has the shrink cannon and the imbigan cannon. So we're going to shrink these fuckers. You can see how annoying this can be. I'm gonna shrink these guys too so that I
jocks. He's a jack in the box. What does this guy want? So I've obviously done enough already. Again, that was always weird. Like the the entry bar was always a little. Oh shit! Uh, it's always a little strange. You know. Like, the only time I've been impeded at all was at Beast Makers, and it was like, get three more dragons, and I guess you can just move forwards if you just don't want it. Oh, yeah, I've got these guys. Weird Lord Farquaad looking motherfuckers. But basically, you hit them. And they control the environment. But they're on a timer, because I don't know why. That is the flight level. So it's always to guard the horrible, the horriblest levels for me, because I'm bad at them. Uh. Oh. No egg thieves I haven't seen yet. A little strange. Wah! Damn it. Yeah, I think we gotta go up there. Oh. Or well, maybe we don't. Maybe that was just the way we came. It was! Okay. I'm getting migraines. I've been playing this far too much. Oh, it's Dark Passage. I thought it was Park Passage. These guys over there. Turn around. Go here. Oh, Zekomo. Zekomo? I love how they were like, sure, whatever, man, whatever floats your boat, you go do that. And they're just like, not helping. Not really telling him no. They're just like, oh, if you want to go, uh, we don't give a shit. He's always like this. Really feels of little consequence if we actually go kill him or not. Like the dragons are like, sure, like we don't really give a shit. And so like, you're the victims in this and you don't care, so It's kinda like uh kinda like Alex in Street Fighter where it's like his whole arcade run oh I just got my ass. He didn't even do any damage. These do. Uh, it's kind of like Alex in Street Fighter where like the whole reason for him facing off against Gil is Haunted Towers is because um he beat up my trainer and my father figure and the guy's like dude I challenged him to a fight and I lost it's my fault never mind eh you don't can't win them all he's like oh, I'll avenge you he's like I'm fine <laughs> like he's like, no, it's fine, it was a fair fight, I lost. He's like, nah man, I'm gonna avenge you. It feels like that. Whereas like these we're like, we're gonna go I thought I said Nazi. I was like, oh really? Nazi Nazi? <laughs> Just cause someone's invincible doesn't mean they shouldn't be attacked. Even gods bleed. Words to live by. Um, ah, I don't 
know what that did. Oh, it would make it higher, but for what purpose? To get that? Uh, well, I'm gonna really finish there. What was I saying? Yeah, like, it feels like that. It feels like we're doing this and we're like, we'll avenge you, and they're like, dude, do whatever you feel you need to do, but we're, we're not gonna help, and we don't really care. Oh, do you change this? Come here, dickhead. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Oh, that's that's not fun. I guess it's hiding in the tall grass somewhere. Yes, like, one of those levels where it feels like it's a lot more concept than it is, like, very easy to traverse, so it's like, you're having to deal with, like, no, you have to follow the linear path and then be sent back around and go backwards if you miss stuff, and you're like, oh, just checking all the long grass. I bet I've walked by it. There it is. Oh no! <laughs> oh, how am I so bad at this game? Oh no! This is still gone. Little shit, come here. Yeah, it's still gone. Oh, these guys are bad though. That's gonna be a problem. I don't like the way they flail their arms, I have to admit. That's just not fun, like. Ugh. Now it's 100%. I should really stop now. I can stop. I can stop when I wanna. Yeah, so there's a lot of levels here, and yeah, they are pretty complicated and not something I feel like doing right now, so yeah, there's a good chance to stop. Yeah, I really like this game. I was talking about bosses as well. I didn't really ever finish my fork because I'm just sleepy. Um, I liked Nork. I liked Ripto. And I... Uh, the third one, I don't remember her name and I just know her as Fat Dinosaur with Horrible Ruff who stole the eggs. Oh. And it's like, oh... Uh, okay, you know, like, least interesting antagonist out of the three, but, you know, serviceable, I guess. Like, you mean, like, like her, her whole plan isn't much... Yeah. Her whole plan is basically just what the egg thieves are doing in this game taking the eggs, and then Ripto has a very similar thing. Ripto's is very fun, and they bring in lots of different ways to deal with him in his boss fights and his minions in the boss fights, which are really good fun. Ah, I see. Look at this. Whatever, I don't need to do this. I don't, you don't tell me what to do. You're not my supervisor. Oh! I'm sorry, what? Is that it? What does it mean? Let's see. 
reach tricky platform. No, it's not it. Secret room. That's it. But there's nothing in the secret. Okay. Wow, I never knew that was there. Um. Yeah, like, there's a lot of cool stuff in 2, there's a lot of cool stuff in 1. 3 feels like there's more just tacked on and gimmicky things, but that's just my opinion. We'll probably play it at some point as we're speeding through 1. We'll probably speed through 2, and then, like, you know, we'll probably leave it there. Oh, it's a cannon, I thought it was a thief. I was like, oh, we got everything. Yeah, so, um, mm, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, it's gonna be a while since until these even go up on the channel, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I'll just sort that out. Uh, time to read Freud and to take something from my hideous migraine from ten hours of continuous gameplay. So, uh, I'm gonna kill myself one of these days with the stupid bullshit that I do for my own fun. Okay, this was a bad plan. Bad plan. But I got a life. Now my cat's coming to kill me. No! Please! No! I am stopping, I s promised. I don't even know why I'm walking around anymore. Let's just, oh, I'm gonna stop here. Bye! Bye everyone, there, uh, kill the cannon man. Yeah. Yes, those fuckers.